Brazen and Bruno, they grew up so fast, it honestly feels like just yesterday they were in the pink of their lives. <laughs> Quite literally. You know, they didn't actually come home at the same time. Bruno was actually brought home first, and while he was at home, we did more research, and we actually found out that squirrels usually give birth to two or more babies, and that's when we thought that Bruno might actually have a litter mate. So, we went back down where the spot was, you know, where the nest had fallen, and moved it around a little more. Guess what? Lo and behold, there he was, Little Raisin. Until that point, we thought that Bruno was possibly the tiniest creature out there, but Raisin challenged that because he was tiny on a whole nother level. They both had a very thin skin, and you could practically see through it, in a way, because for Raisin especially, you could see the color of the organs within peek through the pink of the skin. Just in case you're wondering, yes, they were born with these stripes. It's a part of their skin color, and eventually the fur that came out of there was the same color. So when they came home, they were probably just a few days old. The syringe that we had at home was a little too big, and there were a couple more factors that made us discard the idea of using a syringe, and instead of that, we used a paintbrush to feed them. In fact, there is a video up on this channel about how to feed baby squirrels using a tube, no, not toothbrush, a paintbrush. Of course, the paintbrush that we used was new and it was washed. There were no chemicals on it, there was no paint on it, and we used that for quite a while, and then we ended up shifting to the syringe because they had become relatively bigger so they could use the syringe and because the paintbrush didn't really uh, contain or like have enough milk formula for them they would really quickly drink, drink it up so we had to shift to the syringe. Aspiration pneumonia is something you're supposed to be very careful about when raising baby orphan squirrels and one of the symptoms you could say of it is when the click sound comes and here's a story for you after feeding them once we started hearing these click sounds coming from them like it was kind of like that and we thought that they had aspiration pneumonia so we did loads of research watched videos checking out websites and we were so scared because most of the websites just said that your squirrel will probably not make it because that is one of the major causes of death for baby squirrels. We were really scared, to say the least, but thank God it was all good. We were not, we can be 100% sure, but the conclusion that we made was that that sound that we heard, the clicking sound, was their, them just like making those sounds with their tongue and it was all good apart from that. So that was all about Raisin and Bruno. It's honestly a blessing to be given the opportunity to care for such lovely beings. Oh, and as decided at the very beginning, since Raisin and Bruno were now old enough to fend for themselves, they have been released outdoors. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and hope that you have a wonderful day ahead.